An inquest has begun into the death of a navigator who fell 6,000 feet to his death from an RAF tornado as it flew over Norfolk. 44-year-old Michael Harland was part of a two-man crew that took off from RAF Marham in November of 2007. His body was found near Great Barham in North Norfolk after his seat detached as the aircraft flew upside down. Elodie Harper reports. Michael Harland took off from RAF Marham at 2.30 on the 14th of November 2007. 40 minutes into that flight and nearly 6,000 feet above the ground, the pilot, Mark Williams, reported hearing a loud bang. When he looked round, he saw that his navigator was no longer in the plane. Today, the coroner, Jacqueline Lake, told the inquest that Mr Harland's body was found later that day in a field near North Barsham. The post-mortem showed his death was caused by multiple injuries, including head injuries which may have been due to hitting the tail of the aircraft. The coroner told the jury that the incident took place during a routine test flight following the servicing of the tornado. She said that while the plane flew upside down, the ejection seat detached from the aircraft and fell to the ground. She added that the parachute system on the ejection seat was disabled. The inquest heard that during the servicing of the tornado just prior to Mr Harland's final flight, the parachute on the ejection seats was replaced and changes were made to the seat firing mechanism. The jury were told these changes were being implemented across the tornado fleet, but that the aircraft Mr Harland flew in was one of the first to be modified. Detective Sergeant Chris Burgess told the inquest that the armourers who fitted the seats had been questioned under caution but that it was decided by the Crown Prosecution Service that there was not sufficient evidence to bring a prosecution for manslaughter due to gross negligence. Michael Harland was the head of flight operations for BAE Systems, which employs about 250 people at RAF Marham and holds a £130 million contract to maintain and upgrade the RAF's tornado fleet. Mr Harland's brother Andrew and sister Carol Harland were both at the inquest today. Michael Harland also leaves behind a widow and two children. The inquest into his death is expected to conclude at the end of the week. Elodie Harper, Anglia News. Well, next tonight, the father who's made a film showing images of his son's body in the hope of getting information about his death. Lee Bolkwell from Essex was found in a cement mixer eight years ago. For years, his death was treated as an accident, but his father, Les, believes he was tortured and murdered by an organised gang crime gang. Ron Ramsey has our report. No father should have to see their child the way Les Bolkwell has seen his son. But he's felt forced to make this video. Many of the pictures show Lee's body in a cement mixer and are too distressing for us to show. For years, his death was treated as an accident, but Les believes he was a victim of a violent gangland-style murder. I'm not no hero. I just want justice for my boy, and I'll go anywhere to get justice for Lee. There are many people that have said they think I'm brave to put it on. Well, we've, we've reached this stage now. I've obviously seen them images over the last four years, five years, um, and, and many more images that are far worse than that. But we've had to go through this, and uh, I feel it's the way forward. These pictures were taken by Essex police, and the force gave them to Les's legal team. He hopes by showing them, it will encourage people who may have information to come forward. This CCTV footage of that night shows Lee at the wheel of the lorry on a farm track in Upminster. Hours later, he was found dead. When Essex police first found Lee's body, they treated his death as an accident. But now, eight years later, the serious organised crime unit is looking at the case again and the Independent Police Complaints Commission is investigating a number of complaints against Essex police officers. Essex police told me it would be inappropriate to comment while these investigations continue. And Les hopes his video will help those investigations. This is how he wants to remember his son, joking and happy at a friend's wedding. But until he gets the answers he wants, all his attention is focused on how he died. Lorna Ramsey, Anglia News, Upminster.
Right, it is coming up to a quarter past six. It is, of course, great to have you with us this Monday evening. Up next, all the news from closer to home, plus the push to get more of us online.